All right, here goes. I haven't thrown a ball in many years, so let's see. Ready? That was great. That was good? That was great. Okay, throw back. Let's see if I can okay. catch. I don't know. Let's. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm down. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> I better practice some more. <laughs> Do they have safety gear for you, Janella? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I need more safety gear. <laughs> okay, this is why I don't play sports. <laughs> oh, thank you for sacrificing your body for this show. We appreciate it. <laughs>now, are you looking for a snack to tickle your taste buds? Karen, do you like your taste buds tickled? Every day. <laughs> Before nine, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Karen. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Tony, Tony Kyo from Cornucopia Restaurant is helping us eat. So this morning with a healthy veggie snack. <laughs> Baked cauliflower fritters, avocado basil cream. Tony, I'm sorry for that. No problem at all, no problem at all. It was Good morning. Too yeah, I know, I saw that. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry. Oh, okay. Right. Hmm. Now, uh, a British musician has been playing the piano to monkeys at historic sites in Thailand to raise awareness of their hunger. Paul Barton had a bit of a tough crowd to please during the concert, with the audience of macaques tugging on his hair, stealing his music, and as you can see, <laughs> climbing all over the piano. Thailand is seeing a reduction in the number of visitors due to the coronavirus pandemic, which has meant there are fewer visitors to feed them and fewer funds to look after them. Well, uh, the monkeys are in fact his latest audience. He previously played Bach Schubert, Chopin and Beethoven for more than a decade to elephants at retirement sanctuaries. The weather, Matt Taylor. If you're crazed or glazed or even blazed, Snoop Dogg has a new Duncan sandwich for you to try. That was not in the prompt. It wasn't. I just added that. I'm so <laughs> smart. Uh, for one week, the chain is selling the Beyond Do Double. Do double? Oh, the double, do du do the double. double G sandwich. Oh, yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah. It's a Beyond Sausage Patty with egg and cheese served on a... D-O-double-G. Wow, oh, I'm an idiot. That took us a minute. We got it. Thanks, Taria. <laughs> Taria got us. <laughs> it's served on a glazed donut. <laughs> oh, my wow. Uh, Duncan says Hello, it was inspired reel. by the rapper's passion for plant-based protein and love of <laughs> glazed donuts. We'll get it, guys. We'll D O double G. It. We're not with I it. See We're it not now. with the times. The D O double G. <laughs> it looks hard with a donut. You can't tell if it's a. I just want the donut with the sausage. Okay, that's that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Can we move on? I look like an idiot. <laughs> Time they showed their lion Asha having fun with a smelly ball. What's a smelly ball, you ask? Well, keepers say the oldest and smelliest perfume seem to be the lion's favorites. They also say cat owners might recognize the mouth open and tongue out maneuver that cats, both big and small, use to smell the air. Yeah, when my cat's at home and yawns and starts smelling, doesn't look nearly as frightening as a. <laughs> 500 pound lion doing that. Damn at the zoo. fun. Rich, yeah. you got any smelly balls for your cats? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, meant, I meant toys yeah, to yeah. play with. No, ask me later in the week after it gets hot and muggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Let's take you hour by hour future cast. As we head into Saturday and Sunday, you can see we got some decent weather out there. Well, we may see a shower or storm coming in later Sunday and the Monday. That's where we'll have a chance for a little bit of rain as we go towards the end of the weekend. And Brendan, Brendan can't keep a straight face. Anyway, 90 on Friday, going to be sunny and hot. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Okay. С 1 февраля выросли размеры пособий федеральным льготникам. Ежемесячная денежная выплата проиндексирована на 3%. На Извините. Я... 
Я старалась, вы слышали. Хорошо, что я не в прямом эфире. Я, честно, очень старалась не засмеяться на это. А остальные на международный проезд вы это читали? Ну да, Иван, я больше чем хранил. Международный проезд за 137 рублей. Нет, 137 это на... Э, на автобус. На путь, нет, на путевку в санаторий. А оставшиеся на международный проезд к месту, месту отдыха и обратно. Понимаете? Полторы тысячи из них 900 на медикаменты, 137 на санаторий, а оставшиеся деньги на проезд. Hello, Justin Hinton, coming to you live from Madison County, a snowy Madison County. Um, a lot of snow has certainly fallen and has fallen. If you take a look at the ground, you can see it's covered. If you see some snow where you are, you can always send them to us on our chime in feature. You can do that on our app, or you could also do that on our website. We love to see the snow pictures and, and what you all do out there, uh, whether it's your animals who would like to play in the snow sometimes for the first time. This is really the first uh, legitimate snowfall <laughs> we've seen uh, this this season. Um, so I know a lot of folks are certainly excited about that. And, and really the first time that, that school is really getting canceled kind of across the region. We know that Governor Cooper had put out a message earlier today warning people to be careful um, with the snowfall because it really is affecting the entire state. So some of the people in mind, I know folks who live in West North Carolina, we are familiar with the snow and how to drive, but it's just a good reminder with this being really the first um, significant snow that we've had to, to be safe if you do have to go somewhere on the roads and make sure you're giving yourself plenty of time to get there and plenty of space with the car that is in front of you. So again, the snow continues to fall here in the Wolf Laurel area of Madison County, just near the Tennessee border. Once theaters reopen, they expect to release movies directly to theaters and on demand. Mm. AMC called the idea, quote, categorically unacceptable. Unacceptable. Universal successfully released Trolls World War II, oh, excuse me, World War II. <laughs> <laughs> on Man, that movie took a twist. <laughs> okay, it's Trolls World War II. Or, excuse me, let me confess. Trolls. <laughs> okay, so because they did so well, <laughs> Jordan, keep it together. I'm sorry. Um, AMC called the release an exception to the rule, though it says changing the way movies are released. <laughs> Take it. Take okay, it. you're so trolls. <laughs> They're mad because they released Trolls on demand and they don't want it to keep going because it was successful yes. and they took away from the movie. You were making me laugh That's so much. That's the gist of it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. to check that movie out. Trolls. Trolls. Oh, that would be a good um, one. Okay. Well, that would the be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Folks, we're going to try to keep it together okay. here. Maple, can you stop just for a second? Three, two, one. More cold air. Three, two, one. Cold air continues across the area tonight. Potential for some frost and freeze for some of us. Warm up, it's going to take. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Three, two, one. Frost and freeze for some of us again tonight. The cold air is lingering through much of the week. We'll show you when the best chance of precipitation is with Futurecast. Maple. Three, two, one. Maple, excuse me. Hello, come here, come here, come here. Do you want to be in this tease? Is that what you want? Come here. Just lean up here. I can do this. Three, two, one. Another night where we may have frost or a freeze for some of us. And the cool weather, it's sticking around for much of the week. We'll show you when the warm up finally gets here. I don't Should know. I shut it off? Put it on? All right. Well, good morning, everyone. We have been uh, on this show for a quarter of a century. Oh, and you're I, right. Wait, I've got to hold up oh, this, this mic. Oh, we, we have to share a mic. We, this is the first time I think this has ever happened. We've yeah. lost audio before. Right. 
temporarily, but we are uh, experiencing an incredible meltdown of audio and video, and we're sharing a microphone. <laughs> So, how have you been? I've been pretty good. I had a couple of days off. <laughs> I uh, did actually, you? Uh, did you? Wait, we didn't. You didn't call me. No, I did. Oh, was I supposed to call you? I thought you were going to call me. <laughs> well, I thought you mentioned something about a barbecue, but I mean, uh, I, I never next time. To next, next time. time. <laughs> next time. Yeah. So, uh, everyone, everything else is good, Larry. Just when you think, you I mean Paul has Paul Conrad has gone from working to having twelve weeks of vacation to working out of his house. To not having to do anything. Right. This is a dream come true for him. I right. wish we could tap. Maybe we could get a phoner with him. <laughs> <laughs> I see an engineer with some engineer. duct tape. I think we're almost I there. We're, the flurry of activity going on around here, I feel terrible because they're in the control room. I have, I, I don't know what, have you ever, how long have we been here, Larry? 24 years? 20 years. I've yeah, never had it where years. we had video and audio go out. Yeah. Right? I saw engineer John Opet, who is one of the nicest guys in the world, actually frowning. <laughs> so you know, it's so bad. Is what we're doing right now I going think, over? I the think air? this is on the intertube. So this is on the air. Still higher ratings than Channel Seven. See, if we had video, three-quarter inch videotapes, we wouldn't be having hey, this problem. The Emmy committee's on the phone. They want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't think we can hear that. Oh, microphone. we've got oh. the microphones, but they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks hey, good. Is the other end plugged in? It looks yeah. good. Hold on. Our Our I hate engineers to rush all of you. Right now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, some people on the web are saying, why aren't we wearing masks as this happens? Larry, I haven't talked to you in about a week, a couple of weeks, but... I find I still really have nothing to say to you. <laughs> it doesn't stop you from talking. I know. If you're just tuning in, our video, our... our, our My mask just broke. I don't understand how they're seeing it. This is the only camera that works. Even your mask came. My mask. But none of the video... The mask what, malfunction. Are, they're seeing us just on this camera, but they can't... None of the other cameras work. None of the other video work. Honestly, the fact that you're all rolling with this is why WGN is the GOAT. Greatest <laughs> of all time. In this has got to be number one. In the year 2020, we have no chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're probably this, this is peak 2020, is it, it not? Is. I mean, it kind of is. One thing on after now. the next. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, let's remember... Larry, I see an easel over there, and if I am not Ooh. mistaken, you are very good at drawing. Yeah, Artist Gilmore on a horse. Uh, on a horse. Because I draw horses well we, and Artist Gilmore well. But now he's, I'm hearing a standby. Does that mean we might have another camera? You know, this is when we would really like to use Paul Conrad's sock puppet theater. Well, right. Paul Conrad just uh, chimed in on Twitter here. Yeah. He said, I woke up for this, heading back to bed. Call me when you need me. Call him when he's going back to bed. You know, who needs the news? The news in 2020 hey. is just really a bit overwhelming anyway, right, Lair? So yeah. we got Paul Conrad on the phone right now. Yeah. Paul, what's going on? I'm just calling to say that you guys are doing a great job. Uh, it looks like everything's under control. <laughs> hey, it's great to see you. I've missed you as well. We and can't even just... find tape that works. But this time we lost everything, and then we figured out this one camera works out here, so... We all kind of came out here, and now I don't know what's going on. I will admit my artist Gilmore looks a little bit like Abe Lincoln. Yeah, let's see. But both, both are great men. It's yeah. nice that some things never change. Yeah. There's comfort in that. To do some cheers? <laughs> what was the go-to cheer in 1980? Oh, uh, go on. I can't. You know two. what? I can't remember. I gotta. I gotta. I can't process it anymore. So, uh, we are back. Obviously, the first 15 minutes of this show, we had no signal. We were in the newsroom, and now it looks like we have all of our news queued up and ready so, to go. Nice job for the engineering team. And I team. think Paul. Yes, I think Paul kind of tapped out. <laughs> so Morgan. You went back to bed. <laughs> Morgan is standing by to do the weather. How did we do, Morgan? Was it great TV? Guys, I'm sure. Uh, this. Okay. Detailed look at your next sh uh, chance at some rain. Oh, that was close. Ooh, I was like, what was that? Uh -oh. <laughs> chance of some rain. Woke well, me up. I was like, what? Oh, we feel the same man. way. Good thing about it's that poor, rain. right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll get to the rain in a little bit, Amy. Why don't you take it from here? All right. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> JCPS butt lo bus hotline, excuse me, is up and running. That was a bad word combo. Sorry. Bus hotline. 
<laughs> oh dear. We'll start to see some fog develop tomorrow morning as a warm front, warm, warm, warm front starts to look to the north. <laughs> could, could you, I think I said something I shouldn't have said. <laughs> the roads in Susquehanna County have people effed up, uh, fed up. Sorry, PennDOT held a forum tonight for residents to explain what's next. Fox 56's Victoria Halicar joins us live in Montrose to explain how much longer drivers have to wait. Victoria. The worst is when you get like a chewy, stringy piece Wait, of Yeah, when you're fighting out. with the sandwich, like give me my food. Yeah, and then I half of it comes out, half yeah. the filling mm. comes you out. You get the chin spank when it comes out and yeah, that's <laughs> lands on oh, your chin. chin <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a live look through the Steamship Grill Harbor Cam. The Coho is back, arriving from Port Angeles with another buttload, boatload of... <laughs> a buttload of... <laughs> a boatload of tourists ready to enjoy the long weekend. <laughs> right? Well, if you make it out to a tailgate, there's a good chance someone in the parking lot will be, you know... Gilling up some sausages. Gr grilling. Oh, I was like, what? What word Gr is that? Grill. It's a misspelling. It's I was like, is grilling. that terminology? I don't no. know. You know, you're going to be grilling up some sausages, and there's a good chance that they <laughs> they won't be doing them like we do That's in right. today's Foodie Friday. I'm just embarrassed. So if you're me. getting out the gill this weekend, Chef Tim Minch from Brahma, he grew up tailgating in his home state of Wisconsin, and today he shows us two great ways to gill that sausage. <laughs> Good morning, too. It's 5 o'clock right now on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. I mean, I'm Chris Wickin. I am Kate Merrill. That is Chris McKinnon, and it is a Wednesday, Danielle, because somebody needs to get some sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the best team. TV moments. <laughs> I've been here at WBC. I've always wanted to be Kate. I texted that to Brianna uh, last night. I said, no, I want to be Kate. No, Merle you don't. You don't. It is very complicated. You're oh. much better off being you. Now, even though this gym is temporary, it's going to be here for a few years. And right now, students say that is more than enough for them because this gym is a home run. Students say that this gym is a grand slam. But this gym is nothing but net. A hole in one. But what we can say is that it looks for him in Uxbridge also something uh, that where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority 12, here. 12,000! It's, it's now down to 5,000. 5, some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again! Thanks it very much, Tim. Lots of people trying to get in on the act there. Our anchor, uh, Adrian Bradshaw, joining us now with a look at what folks are actually seeing on the roadways all across our state, some of the worst hit areas. Adrian? I get tired just walking from studio to studio. Would you believe today, the nicest day of the week? And tell you what, we are not horsing around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it going to be a bat? And then I was like, maybe it's going to be a cat. I was thinking about, like, Halloween. <laughs> I mean, you draw a horse in a second. Can't be easy. My son could draw a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Monday, everybody. I'm trying to wake you up with a smile. <sighs> Brandon's artwork sometimes hits the mark and sometimes not so much. <laughs> he, he hates us right now. I hate Ooh, one of you, that's for sure. I, uh, I let's go ahead and take you. a look at your temperatures on a, a Monday morning. Chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there, okay? It's new bowls. It's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets. There's a keto bowl, paleo bowl, Whole30 diet bowls. They all have big rules about what you can eat. Oh, you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and not a burrito? Is that what you're talking about? No, you can get a bowl at Chipotle. Just in a little bowl. And the certain ingredients go to a certain <laughs> diet. How do you not know this? I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. It has nothing to do with burritos, <laughs> just the stuff that's inside. There. But why would you eat the bowl? You don't eat the bowl. <laughs> 
In, when you have cereal, do you eat the bowl as well? So it doesn't matter if it's paleo or not. It's what's in the. It's the ingredients. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ch the chicken, the lettuce, those things. <laughs> what's our weather? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This story is really hilarious to Jessica. I'm sorry, we were uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good Shout friend. Shout all the time. In the commercial break. She was talking about aspirin and it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day, a day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, what are we going to describe? The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> Milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my God. According to the encyclopedia. Pasteurization began in the. You still use encyclopedias. Milk used to be pasteurized. It started in the 1860s. That's when they remove harmful bacteria from the milk. Where did it come from? A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and don't worry if you can't celebrate. You got another chance in six months because that's World Milk Day. <laughs> September evening, get out to enjoy while we still have trees on the leaves, a blue sky overhead. And uh, who's your favorite Marvel Comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? With great power comes great responsibility. The dog in Thailand is certainly giving new meaning to the phrase doggy, stop, doggy paddle. Excuse me. He was found swimming 135 miles off the shore of Thailand near an oil rig. Workers first spotted the dog. <laughs> I don't I know. There's no way around it. I, so <laughs> workers first spotted the dog last Friday swimming towards the platform. The crew was able to get a rope around his neck and pull him up. They believe he fell off a fishing trawler. He's now in good shape and on dry land with an animal protection group. One I'm sure I'll be working with very soon. More news for at 11 when we come back. The Democratic campaigns continue. Bernie Sanders made an appearance in Sacramento, California. Here's what he had to say to his supporters. 